Oh boy, you ready for it? Michigan State football Ooh. suspending four more players for that ugly brawl inside the big house tunnel. So what do we know? Should we start with just the basic facts? Yeah. Because we've all seen pieces of video and we have some of it to show you guys. You just saw some of it. But um, what do we know about what exactly happened or do we know? what well, happened inside that tunnel? Well, I think there's a number of videos that I saw anyway. I mean, I think they're out there, but after the game, uh, Michigan State and uh, U of M, um, who won that game, Ryan? Uh, Michigan. Okay, got it. Anyway, <laughs> so the players, they in at U of M, they have one tunnel where they both go to their locker rooms. And as they're going back, and now we don't know what happened, who said what to what, but whatever, at least two Michigan players were attacked by a number of Michigan State players. I think at this point, eight MSU players have been suspended or expelled or kicked off the team. Indefinite, in, in, indefinite, indefinite suspension. Wow. Right. They will so keep at, their scholarship and be able to go to school. So at least eight Michigan State players have been uh, tagged for some responsibility on two Michigan players, and I understand one of them is, uh, is doing a uh, protocol for a concussion. Jamon Green. Um, and did they have a broken nose too? I think that that was an issue as well. All right, so those are the facts I think that, I think everyone kind of agrees on those facts anyway. So the issue now is actually, I talked to the prosecutor of Washtenaw County, so here's the, let's, let's just go procedure, okay? The issue is, should there be criminal charges? Okay, that's the issue. Right. So in order to get criminal charges on anything, the police must do an investigation, and then normally the police will, in, will recommend charges to the prosecutor, and then the prosecutor reviews. So where are we now? Ann Arbor Police, as I understand it, still doing an investigation. And what they're doing an investigation, they're trying to find witnesses, they're trying to find video, they're trying to find whatever they can. And I don't know if Ann Arbor Police will recommend charges to the prosecutor. Mm. I just kind of don't think they will. This is a game. Good. I understand the game is over, but they're still in their uniforms. Yeah. They're still going through the tunnel. It's a continuation of the game, unlike the, the malice in the palace years ago where players stands. went that into the different. stands. That was different. Totally different. Yeah. Or if this fight had taken place an hour after the game right. in the, in the, on the streets in the of Ann Arbor. In the parking lot by the buses. The totally, totally different. different. Totally different. Totally different. They're both, so I, again, what is an assault and battery? It would be the unintentional, touching, forceful, uh, I think the other buzzword, there's another buzzword, offensive in nature. That kind of meets the test, but you have to look at the context and look at boxing matches. There's also, whenever you play sports, mm -hmm. there's an element of consent. You know that you may get picked up and thrown down, especially in football, yeah. boxing, even baseball, hockey yeah. for sure. So I kind of think that they're going to look at this as an extension of the game. And although not right, it is still the rough housing that it goes on huh. for the game, not criminal. What about the one player who swings the helmet at the other player? We've had baseball bats thrown Thank at you. players. Uh, we've had hockey players uh, hit. Listen. <laughs> We're talking about criminal charges, and you do have to look at the circumstances yes. surrounding this. Mm. We're talking criminal. Now, expulsion, kicked out of school, suspension, kicked out of school. And the other thing the prosecutors kind of look to, prosecutors right, now. Right, the school is its own court. That's their own court. Different. Right. But they also look to, in sports related, does the league take control of the situation? Mm. And it, in this case, I think they did. Just two, two instances we've seen recently. One where the fan ran onto the field and the player tackled him, Bobby Wagner. Charges filed in that case on the player who hit the fan. Uh, Devontae Adams, wide receiver for the uh, uh, Las Vegas Raiders, uh, pushes a photographer who was in his way. Charges filed in that case. But those aren't other, that's not player on player. And this is, that's professional, and these are college players. I, I think I'm not I saying I, 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 I there should be convention. no charges. I want to see yeah. some Football. convictions on those By the way, too. I want to be very clear. I, I, I just hate this whole thing. Yeah, I hate the whole bad. thing. I, I think they should not ruin yeah. these kids' these kids' career. These are kids to me. They yeah. should not ruin these kids and make them into criminals when they just finished this literally assaulting each other every play yeah, in a football yeah, game. Yeah. Then you're walking down a tunnel, you talk trash, and something happens, and now yeah. they're criminals? No. It's a bad look, no, Lee. It's a I'm bad look, but it, they're I'm not Michigan criminals. I'm a Michigan State parent, and I'm looking at these football players, and the video I just looked at with the rest of you is they're all ganging up on one kid. That's the video we saw. So they're it, talking trash going down. The, it's a privilege to put that uniform on and play on that team. 
Yes, and it could. should well, they could, be allowed to continue to do that? Well, could there be criminal yes. charges? I think there could be. I mean, I think it I'm not saying criminal charges. Yeah. I'm saying but, but I don't know. I kind of don't to, think they'll be pull criminal charges. their scholarships charges. or expel That's them. That's what or they take do. them all the way off the team. The league or the team will take care of the discipline. I think it's too far. Yeah. Not the court. Discipline them, Different. but allow them to learn from this and continue. I think they keep their scholarships. Yeah, then they can go to school. Man. All right. All right. Okay, we got to take a quick break. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens.